So let's go back in VS Code and I'm gonna go back to the service and I'm gonna copy this patch request here and paste it down. I want to change this to delete. So let's change this to delete because we're trying to delete the user. And here we have to pass in the ID. In that case, that's a number. So we're gonna set the type and then we're gonna pass in this ID here. We're gonna remove the payload and send the request and make sure we change this to a delete. Okay, so we're sending the delete, we pass in the URL and then we pass in the identifier of the resource. In that case, this is the ID. Remember I said that I don't know what this is gonna return to me. So as the response body, I have no idea what I'm mapping. So in this case, I can just set this to unknown. Okay, because I don't know what I'm getting back. So we're gonna set this to unknown because we don't know what the server is gonna send back in the response body. Okay, so we know we're gonna get some HTTP headers but in the response body, which is what we're doing here when we try to deserialize this response body to a specific type, we don't know that type yet. So let's go ahead and try this out and see uh, what we get. So let's go back to the component and I'm gonna scroll down, grab one of those guys, scroll down a little bit more and then paste it. And I'm gonna call this on delete user. And then here I'm gonna call the delete and I'm just gonna pass in a number here so let's say we're gonna delete the fifth user, right? So we're deleting the fifth user and here we're gonna say deleting user. Okay, so we're done deleting user. So this is gonna be on delete user that we're gonna call. We're deleting the user with ID five and we're sending that over to the server. So let's go ahead and see what we get back. As you can see here, whenever we get a response, whatever that response is, we're gonna console log it. And if I hover over it, you can see that it has type unknown because we don't know. So let's scroll up a little bit and let's call that function. So I'm gonna comment out the patch and I want to see all the users in case I have to do some comparison. So I'm gonna leave the first one here and I'm gonna go down and then call the delete. So I'm gonna do this, that, delete. And actually I have it copied, so I'm gonna paste it and pass it here and save this. So let's go back to the browser and we got nothing. You can see here on line 73. So if we go back, you see line 73 here, we got nothing, okay? So you see that when we try to console log this and I can put something here just so we know that we're console logging this. So I'm gonna say response from delete and then pass in the response, okay? So I'm gonna save this, go back to the browser and I'm gonna refresh this so we clear. So you can see we have the response from delete here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and you can see it's an empty object, okay? So we have nothing returns back to us. So what we can do now that we know what kind of data we're gonna get returned, we can just set this to the appropriate data. So instead of unknown, we can go ahead and change this to void, okay? Because we know that's what we're getting. So now whenever we do this, so you can see it's gonna say void here. So it's gonna give us the same thing, like nothing's gonna happen here, right? So let's go back and refresh. You see it's because it's void, okay? We still get nothing. However, if you go back to the network and we're gonna refresh this one more time, okay? So we can see here the request that was sent. So we can see that we sent this delete request for the user with ID five, and then we got a 200 response. So that means that the request was successful. And again, we have nothing. We have an empty body, which means it returned void. So again, you can see that in the slide, I show you that sometimes you get a Boolean, sometimes you get the user back or the data that you delete back, but sometimes you get nothing, which is void. And usually um, you can see that whenever we check this out, you see it gives us a 200 and we're gonna go over some of the HTTP status code later. Any 200 range response code is successful. But in this case, whoever built this API, they decided to send a 200 response on a deletion. So this is how you send a delayed request.